G'day guys and welcome back to another video on my channel, Nintendo Down Under. I have a very special unboxing to do today. I really want to show this very special console I have. It's special in a few ways. Before we get to that, again, apologies about the delay for my 2023 Nintendo... Did I say three, right? I say three, I don't know. 2023 Nintendo Game Room Tour. So I am having a delay with a few of these GameCube consoles that are coming. So the problem I'm going to quickly break down for you is I'm not waiting for them to come in the post. I'm buying them off somebody um, who I get a bit of stuff off. But unfortunately, he's being held up in a different state from where I live. So it's just snowballing where I can't get these consoles. But as soon as he gets back to where I live, he will drop them off. So I'm hoping that will be sometime this week. Um, but there have been delays that's been out of my control, out of their control. So we're just going to carry on and do something else. And hopefully next time you watch a video of mine, it's the 2003, not free, Nintendo Game Room Tour. But anyway, we're going to show this today. Please stick around for this because this console is very, very special. Why is it special? Well... Straight off the bat, it's extremely rare. We have the Spotlight Nintendo 64, uh, I guess, Special Edition. What's special about it? Does it come with Banjo-Kazooie? Does it come with Pikachu? Does it come with Mario? Does it come with Donkey Kong? No, it doesn't. It just comes with a plain, generic, grey Nintendo 64. This was released near the end of the Nintendo 64 life cycle. They had a few of these laying around the factory in Australia. This is an Australian and New Zealand exclusive console. And I think oh, I might have to make this look pretty to get people to buy it. So they chuck this sleeve on it that has Banjo-Kazooie, that has Pikachu, that has Mario, that has Donkey Kong. Now, what makes this special as well not just that it's really rare and hard to find and internationally this console is so sought after i've been contacted numerous times from people in europe people in north america saying how much for that console i need to add it to my rare n64 collection well it's not for sale i don't sell things i keep my stuff so that's why it's rare as well but the condition is what makes this special really really special because it is mint camera will not do it justice. You're going to have to come around my house and have a look. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it was a funny joke, wasn't it? <laughs> come around my house, have a look, and see how clean this thing is. The sleeve, the N64 itself, the contents. We'll go through it and have a look because it is lovely, really nice. The only little problem I have which can be fixed, there's not many things that can be fixed, and maintained with these old consoles because once there's scratches, once there's dents, once there's rips, that's it. You can't fix it. You just can't. But with this, I can sort of sort the little problem I have out. So we're gonna shake, shake. Jeez, we can't get my words right today. We're gonna take, not shake, this plastic sleeve off very, very gently. And just quickly, here's the back, by the way, before I take the sleeve off. Uh, Pokemon Stadium, Banjo Kazooie, Goldeneye, Mario Kart. Donkey Kong 64 gives you a write-up of the game. It tells you down here, uh, distributed by Nintendo Australia, um, where for use with PAL version Nintendo 64 game pack only. Now. For sale, here we go, for sale and use in Australia and New Zealand only, meaning that you could buy this if you wanted to, but if you went to America or Europe, it just wouldn't work because of the contents are made for PAL Oz and PAL New Zealand. Right, let's get this sleeve off gently before I show this mint, mint, cracking mint N64. That's like factory brand new there. Have a look at this sleeve. Let's get a bit closer. Because it's like really plasticky and reflecty, the light just doesn't do it very good. Um, it's very reflective, but boy, it looks nice. There's no big scratches, there's no big dents, there's no big tears, but what we do have is just on this side, it's just come a little bit loose here. That's not a massive problem because it means the glue, it's just a bit of glue's come away. So I can just get a little bit of light glue and glue this back down and it would be fine. I haven't done that yet, but just yeah, over the, over the years, 
you know, the glue's gotten a bit softer and just worn away. So be really careful with that. So we're just going to put this to the side for the uh, meantime because last thing I want to do is do any more damage to it. And yes, I know you've probably seen it. Well, you have. You've seen Nintendo 64 consoles millions of times. Like, yeah, I'm sure you've watched unboxings. It's just a plain one, but just take a moment to have a look how pristine, new, clean this thing is. It is rocking, ready to go. I've just... This could be absolutely graded at a high grade because it is in such cracking condition i'm going to open this so carefully and so gently so you can see inside how cracking and new this thing is it's basically been, been whoever originally owned this bought it near the end and hardly used it bought it and just tucked it away in their closet in their i don't know not their garage because this is too nice for garage they just put it in the back of their closet i'm calling it i've never met these people but they put this thing in the back of their closet simple as that and you'll see why like just take it in take this in here have a look at this we're doing it gently we're doing it really gently i don't want to open it sideways and things to get the foam looks like it's just come out of a factory today the foam is white look at me getting so hyped about foam plastic and boxes God damn! Oh, yes, yes, yes. We've taken the box out, which is just, oh, it's so good. It's so good, guys. Like, let's have a look at this. The foam is like pure snow, sugar, white, ready to go. The baggies, just, oh, it's such good condition. The booklets, such good condition. The foam down the bottom here. Let's have a look at the foam. Look, no big damage or nothing. Just a little cable tie, probably from one of the controllers or something. Ah, oh, and we'll just quickly have a look at the controller as well. And as you can, everything here, guys, is just been taken care of. The most Mintus M64. And because it comes with a rare, very rare sleeve, Oh man, it would take some serious money to get this off me. Someone has to offer me something stupid because it is just something that cannot be replaced. Something that cannot be found again in this condition. It's the most Mintus N64 that I own and it's the Mintus N64 I've ever seen. Very proud of it, always keep it in my sleeve. I hardly ever unbox this thing. So it's been good to do it today. So once I've finished this video, I will put this stuff back really carefully because I don't want to do one tiny bit of damage to this thing. It's been looked after for years and it's been continued to look after in my collection. And yeah, just very, very happy with everything that's in this box. So as you can see, it didn't come with anything special like a Banjo, a Pikachu, a Mario or a Donkey Kong. It just came with a plain N64, an excuse to, you know, make it a bit more desirable to the buyer to try and offload a few more N64s near the end of its life cycle when, you know, the new Nintendo GameCube was on its way out. But in the comments down below, let me know your thoughts on this. Have you seen a better condition N64 console? Um, yeah, sorry about the room tour. It is coming, I promise. We just have to wait for these other things that are out of our control to fall into place. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And until next time, take care.